Hello everybody, my name is Fearless, and um, yeah, so my, not my last video, but the, the video before that um, about the four P100s versus Bass and Bubba, I changed the name now um, to, I believe, Ableist Streamer Insults and uh, Falsely Reports Me. Yeah, that's the name. Um, it's going to be up there in the top right if you want to watch it, uh, so you get the full context. But basically, um, you know, here's the gist of it. I was playing Basement Bubba because someone in my chat requested it, so I played him. I sent myself to Dead Dog Saloon because the basements are, you know, pretty near the center, even if they're, like, a Killer Shack is directly in the center in uh, main building. It's just, it's just a couple more meters away. So, you know, it's one of the best maps for basement spawns if you want to do Basement Bubba, right? Um, so, that's why I sent myself there. Um, now, Dead Dog Saloon has one of the best main buildings in the game. Which I knew, but, you know, most people wouldn't loop around one thing the entire game. They would loop around the whole map. But no, these people, all four of them, sat at main the entire game um, and just abused main building. And I, I was playing as Bubba again, and there's, there's like, three god windows and then the side window um, in that building. Just in that building alone, four windows. Um, you know, so... There's not much I can do in that situation, because I'm doing Basement Bubba. I'm not going to have Bamboozle or anything. I'm going to have, you know, Insidious, Iron Grass, Agitation, Noed. Um, but yeah, uh, they, I, uh, spoiler alert, I beat them. I got a 3k, the Dwight got out, which I'm fine with, because the Dwight was the only person that was not being toxic. And you know why? It's because the Dwight wasn't in a Swift with them. The Dwight was a random who just so happened to bring the same offering as them. Um, but yeah. Well, actually, I'm not quite sure. When I look at the VOD, the, the Dwight never talks one single time. But, you know, it's just possible that he had his mic muted or something. I don't know. But the Dwight wasn't being toxic, pretty much. Because uh, even this guy, right here, I'm probably going to have his uh, face blurred. But um, his name is not blurred in the other video. Um, but, yeah, this guy has 2.6 thousand followers. And um, when this guy, when, when his friend says he's going to falsely report me, this guy's just laughing. He's just laughing about it. Now, if you're a streamer as big as he is, just 2.6 thousand, you know, it's not big, but it, it's pretty, it's a decent following, right? If you have that many followers, I feel like you would understand what it's like to be a small streamer because you used to be one. So why are you laughing about that? That's not funny. I can report this guy right now. I'm not going to, but I can easily report him. Um, I don't know what it would be under, but probably threatening. Because they're they're threat they're they're all threatening to report me, and that, they're reporting me falsely, like that. You you can probably ban someone on Twitch for um, threatening to report you falsely because I didn't do anything wrong. Um, so his mic's loud. The the streamer up here, his mic is very loud, and his friend's mic is very quiet. So it's really hard to understand what he's saying. But um, I'll I'll try to say some things over it when I know what he's saying. All right. <laughs> Reporting. That's all I really heard in that sense. <laughs> Hateful. <laughs> Misconduct. Sexity. What the fuck is sexity? I don't know what that means. Terrorism. Yep. Self harm. It's gonna work. They gotta look into it and see them. <laughs> hey, like, see, okay. So, this guy said they're going to look into it and see nothing. And then he's laughing. You think it's funny to waste people's time? Like, people... The people at Twitch that go over this shit, they have to do this shit 24-7, dude. They have to deal with false reports 24-7. This is not funny. You're wasting their time. They could be banning actual... Like, people that are actually doing something that fucks up their platform, and you're, 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 make, you're laughing and causing them to um, deal with bullshit. It's, it's ridiculous. Did it work? Did it work? Did it work? You can report someone, and they're not going to tell you immediately if it worked or not. Like, what? 2.6 thousand followers. He should know this, but, you know. Did it work, Abel? Yeah, bullying. Bullying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bullying. Oh, yeah. How did I bully this guy, by the way? If you go back and watch the video... Uh, it's going to be linked down below, and it was in the top right of the screen earlier. But how the fuck did I bully him? How? 
the the worst thing I said was I called him stupid, but that was after he called me slow and he said my brain cells were lacking. So I think I'm in the right to call him stupid. Um, and also later on he said I needed medication, which is, you know, again that's ableism. You're assuming you're you're saying that I need medication for something. That uh, that's ridiculous, man. Revealing personal information is what he just said. What personal information did I reveal? What what did I reveal? Um, the only thing that I can think of is his name on Dead by Daylight. But again, well, not again. I never said it, but you can hide your name. You can hide your name on Dead by Daylight, and he chose not to. And even then, his name is not the same as his Twitch name. His name on Dead by Daylight is not related to his Twitch name at all. They're not the same at all. Which... What the fuck are you trying to ban me for then, bro? I didn't bully you. I didn't reveal any of your information. You are on Dead by Daylight, which is a public game, okay? If your name is showing, I'm allowed to show it wherever the fuck I want. Besides, um, these guys said they were making clips. Sure, you can't see my name, but you can see my character. That's revealing personal information, dude. You're revealing what character I play as? <laughs> like, I mean, if you're going off of their logic... They're, per they're revealing my personal information by showing that I'm Bubba. Because, I mean, I'm showing their name in a public game, and that's revealing personal information. So if they show my character, they're revealing personal information, right? That's going off of their logic. All right, that was the end of that. Um, if you're wondering why I have polyester stream on here, I just want to show you exactly what this guy did. I'm not going to obviously uh, submit the report, but pretty much what he did, he clicked on these three lines. He said, report live stream. This is what came up. He was reading through all of these. He clicked bullying and harassment. He clicked next, and then he clicked um, revealing personal information. Now, uh, again, I did not reveal any personal information of this, guys. I, I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Um, he's really that butt hurt over a match of Dead by Daylight, which he had the advantage in every way because I was a bubba in the best main building in the game for Survivor. But we don't have to talk about that. Um, Snooter, I know you're watching this video. Um, please just cry harder. Pull out your, pull out the, the, the handkerchief, wipe your face off, bro. Th this is just embarrassing for you. He said my self-awareness was out the window. He clearly has it backwards. He's the only one not self-aware about anything he does, apparently. Um, he said it was embarrassing that I was making a video, but yet he said he was making, he was going to make clips out of the, out of the, the match. It doesn't make any sense, dude. The, the self-awareness is literally out the fucking airplane window. He threw that shit all the way to a different continent, bro. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I don't know what to tell you, Snooter. Like, you need to change your mindset. Um, if, you, if You're a competitive player, right? But you're playing pubs. So why are you taking it so seriously? Why are you taking it so seriously? Especially said, you guys said you weren't trying. You said you were throwing. If, you're, if you really weren't trying and the game didn't matter to you because you were just throwing, then why did you falsely report me? Come to my chat, insult me, be ableist towards me. Why? Why would you do all of that if the match didn't matter? Clearly the match mattered to you, and clearly you were butthurt that you lost to a Bubba on the best main building in the game for Survivor. So I am really sorry. I, I, I do feel pity for you. Um, hopefully your, your, no, your next matches go a lot better because uh, that, that was not your day. That was not your day. And I, you deleted your VOD. Uh, I can't imagine why. Probably because, um, you know, you didn't want your chat hearing you cry the whole time and uh, be bullied by me. Because apparently I bullied you. I, I don't know how I did, but apparently I did. Reveal, I, I revealed your personal information. Oh, yeah, I revealed that he was a baby. Oh, yeah. People thought he was an adult. No, he's a baby. I revealed that. I'm sorry, man. I You know, I mean, I thought it was obvious that you were a baby, but... Apparently it wasn't. I, I don't know. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And Snooter, um, losing a match of pubs when you're not trying, not trying, um, it shouldn't affect you this negatively. But yeah, I'll see all of you in the next video. Bye-bye.